Bali's conservationists update diving regulations for tourists to protect rare marine life. Local conservationists have updated and promoted the code of conduct for divers and snorkelers as a result of the shoals of sunfish that have resurfaced in the shallow waters of Nusa Penida on a seasonal basis. From July through September, sunfish, sometimes referred to as mola mola locally, are most frequently seen in the seas around Nusa Penida. Local environmentalists are afraid that too much activity might harm the uncommon marine life. Tourists from all over the world travel to Nusa Penida for a chance to swim with the unusual fish. This fish lives in the deep sea, but every July it emerges into the shallow sea, and the most appearances are from August to September, the that's attraction, aside from the shape and size are round, so they are called sunfish, and also the size is quite large between 2 to 2.5 meters, project leader for the Coral Triangle Center Wire Sanya you told local reporters. Sunfish are a major draw for eco-tourists because of their distinctive behavior and infrequent encounters, claims Waira Sanyaya. Although sunfish may be found in the waters off of Nusa Penida and elsewhere in Southeast Asia, there is no other location where you can almost certainly see one during the right time of year. The sunfish migrate from the depths of the deep sea to the shallow seas around Nusa Penida because there is plenty of food there at this time of year. Because there are several food sources, the sunfish migrates to shallow waters, according to Wirasanyaya. Additionally, it uses little fish to clean the body when it moves to shallow waters to do so. Since 2008, Wirasanyaya has been examining sunfish population levels. He believes the population is steady and has been attempting to tag some of the fish in order to better understand their behavior and acquire actual data on their population size. Crystal Bay, Gamut Bay, Toyopake, and Blue Corner are the sunfish's four preferred places off Nusa Penida, according to Wirasanyaya. Updates to the diving and snorkeling code of conduct have been made, according to Nengabagus Suhiarta. Head of the Bali Water Conservation Area UPTD, Marine and Fisheries Service, Bali Province. The modifications, according to Suhiarta, include maintaining a minimum of 5 meters of distance from the fish, never touching the sunfish, and not obstructing its swimming path. The regulations state that divers must approach fish cautiously, avoid swimming beneath them, and refrain from interfering with the fish's cleaning routine. The environmentalist went on to say, in fact, there are behaviors that can put pressure on the appearance of sunfish, such ecologically harmful tourist activities like approaching too near to and touching the sunfish. The local diving and tour companies have been included in the discussion and agreed upon the code of conduct. The community will keep an eye on the code of ethics, which is a conservation endeavor. So far, we have carried out instructional outreach to guides or operators. Suhiarta stated that if there are infractions, we return them to the community or the divers so that they may correct one another. Particularly during the sunfish season, Nusa Penida attracts many of divers and snorkelers. Off the coast of Nusa Penida, there is a unique variety of marine life. Additionally, there are several manta rays in the vicinity and visitors may go diving with them all year long. The area's marine life as a whole, not only the sunfish, is protected by the code of ethics. The manta ray encounter is subject to the same regulations. In the new Sipanita region, there are several diving schools where foreign tourists may obtain their potty diving certificates and learn more about marine conservation.